guys welcome back to today's well to her vlog um as you will have just seen i've just done my makeup i am about to uh, well in a minute head out and catch my bus to go to the local hospital to get insoles hopefully made for me hopefully they're gonna do it today so <clears throat> i'm back from work and it's cold and miserable and wet outside i think just chill watch tv and that's about it like i'm really just not in the mood to do anything like i've done washing put my work clothes in the washing machine need to do some like actual dishwashing because i've got plates there and in the kitchen and i think my housemates are sick and tired of mine being there update you guys on what actually happened yesterday because i was editing the video and you guys didn't really <laughs> I didn't really explain what happened. So I had my hospital appointment and um, they want me to have insoles, which I already knew. So they've taken templates of my feet to do that. That explains a lot to why I have the issues with my joints. So yes, I still need to do the washing up from yesterday because I didn't do it. And then that's about it. clip you will have seen me just put some stuff in the washing machine i've done another load i've also had a drying lesson driving lesson drying lesson what the hell driving lesson um i've also eaten dinner um and i am just sorting finances out and just trying to sort my life out a little bit and that's about it for today's part you guys will um see tomorrow and what tomorrow has to bring working. So today I've got my hospital appointment, um, which I'm slightly apprehensive for because I don't know really what to expect. I know it's about 45 minutes. So I've just got ready for the day. I actually am so happy with my makeup and how it came out, turned out. Um, I've also just made my bed, which I try and do on a daily basis now. And I've just made a mocha, chocolate mocha, with my Hogwarts mug. I'm so happy. So for the last hour or so, I have been, oh my god, I just realised the disaster of my hair. I need to sort it out. Um, been sorting out my channel. Obviously, I've been away for six months, pretty much not on it. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I've done. This channel is going to just be vlogs now, I think, because there may be a very few um, hauls, but I doubt it, if I'm honest. Um, I much prefer vlogging. I feel much more comfortable vlogging um it's just something i prefer doing so that's why this channel is gonna purely be vlogs so this is the new channel it's not the new channel but it's the new layout so we've got new photos i've got a new blog photo as well and that's my recent one i'm also going to change that and just sort of organize it so hopefully it makes a little bit more sense to you guys uh, i am um, I've just had some food because I haven't actually eaten yet today and it's already 11.51 um, and then in a, just in about 45 minutes I'm going to head out 
to go to London. how my hospital appointment went and sort of round the vlog up and end it so I can upload it because I have no idea how long it's going to take. So it was very very good. Um, I went to see an occupational therapist. I wasn't really sure what I was seeing or who, what I was doing up there to be honest until I got there. That's sort of why I said this morning I was a little bit apprehensive because I didn't really know what the appointment was um, like good, what it was all about. Um, because I have so many different health professionals involved at the moment with different, multiple different things. Um, I got there really early, so instead of going straight there, I thought I'd go to the cafe, which was in the main hospital, um, my where my ward is, or whatever you want to call it, where I go for an outpatient. Isn't it's on the same site, but there's a different entrance and check in, sit there, waited for ages. Um, she was running late. I was there early. So I was sitting there for a good hour and 15 minutes and I think the nurses were a bit like why is she there what what's going on are you actually being seen or what's happening so it's fine don't worry in the end my occupational therapist came out took me into a separate room spoke to me for a good hour and a bit um got loads and loads of information that my consultant has already got that she needs um, um we're sort of gonna take an action plan from now um we we started to do an action plan for what's going to happen. I'm so excited to see what this year has to bring with it all. And this is sort of why I want to document my recovery properly because you can recover from CFS ME if you have the right attitude. And I definitely have found having a positive mindset about life has helped dramatically. Um, I think when I moved out, that was really what helped to kickstart the process of recovery um, because I am recovering from Emmy and it's been really really good since I've started work. Anyway I want to stop rambling, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you next week for another video. See you soon, bye!